and then I can get wrecked while you're also getting wrecked. Shadows wrecked me in the level four so long ago. Yeah, I absolutely believe it. They seem complex to do, though. I feel like I've seen uh, some speedrunners just continually DPS specific ones and manipulate their AI. So I think we should be able to do it fairly straightforward uh, if we get lucky. Level four, you mean like New Game Plus? I don't mean like New Game Plus. No, we do not at all. Uh, we mean like never, we don't level the character, Legion. So instead of souls, like in Dark Souls games, um, you have blood levels. So it's soul levels in Dark Souls and blood levels in this game. And so it's just like an SL1 where you don't level. Oh, I didn't just pair this guy. We can't now! Why are they called love triangles when they're only one angle? Because they're acute triangles? I really don't know. Not really sure what we're going for here. I think my biggest problem building up the, be the beast meter has just been running out of stamina and dropping damage. So I think what we need to do is one, two, one. Then just back off, let it recover. One, two, one. Back off, let it recover. One, two, one. And that should, I'm guessing, get it all the way up to a third, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll absolutely see. I'm definitely excited for the run so far. It's, it's been going pretty well. We've done, I think we did uh, Gas Queen in four tries, and Blood Starved Beast has taken us three tries already. And we just, I've never, again, I've never done the Blood Cocktail strategy, so I miffed it. I whiffed it a couple times. Uh, not using them at the right times, that sort of thing. He turned around and one shot us. Quite, quite fun, though. Just got more transformation by doing one light, then two transformation attacks in a row. You think, oh, nice! Holy shit, you're totally right! Oh my god, thank you for saying that, Parrish, because I would have totally not done that, and that's going to help me so much. The triangles would imply that A loves B, B loves C, and C loves A. There's normally only two of them. Why can't one individual love two different people? Like this, and then the other two love each other, and then it's a triangle. Maybe. <laughs> I really have no idea. So we're going to try and get five or six blood... Uh, actually, we're going we're gonna to go for six pungent blood cocktails, which means we need 12k souls, which is going to take a while. We think we get 500 from both of those guys, so we just keep going back there. A bisexual triangle! Or that, yes, yes indeed. What stories of the game? I have no idea. You are a beast hunter going out to hunt beasts. Uh, do you plan on do you plan on playing the game ever, Seen King? Because I don't want to spoil like ma do massive spoilers of like lore and stuff if you uh, are. You definitely should look it up because it is very much like Dark Souls lore, where even if I explain it a little bit, you're not going to get most of it because I don't know that much about it. Um, I know a little bit enough to play the game and to enjoy it and to enjoy the lore. Uh, but it's also very complex and very uh, different. Wouldn't it be a trisexual triangle, potentially? Unless that triangle... I, I've, <laughs> I have no idea what we're talking about. Oh, no PS3. What about a PS4? It's, that's what I'm playing it on. That's what I'm playing it on. Infanticide. It is also about infanticide. Yes, the game is. <laughs> it definitely is. Uh, the infanticide of the great ones, to be specific. No! So what you're saying to me is you probably will never play it. Is that is that what I'm... Is that what I'm gathering, Steam King? But I would recommend looking it up. Uh, but I will talk about specific things as I get through it. I just, again, don't know that that much about it, so uh, I can only talk about some things. This was a PS Plus a couple months ago. That's true. It was indeed. But if you don't have a PS, a PlayStation, that doesn't really matter. Unfortunately. Hey, Penrose, what's your favorite instrument? Ah, that's an interesting question. I think I am very partial to the piano. Uh, I wonder what's over here. I've never grabbed this item before. Away! Away, chat, away! Oh, cool, we actually need these. And some Molotov, go! Jesus, shit, get away from me. Oh my god, okay, that is actually... Thank you so much, Paris, for saying that. That is literally why we weren't building our beast meter up, because we weren't double uh, transforming, and that's that's exactly what we need to do. So just one double transform. 
Finish Dark Souls 3 very much. This was my first Soulsborne game, and I think it's way better interesting. Yeah, the combat is different. Uh, these systems, I think, are more refined as far as, like, uh, control scheme, uh, the way you move throughout the world in Dark Souls 3, but I think I like the lore and combat slightly better of this game. Um, I think I like the grungy, dark atmosphere of Dark Souls 1 the best as far as, like, the claustrophobic atmosphere goes. So they're all kind of, like, tied in different categories for me, but I definitely like both of them. Good morning, top of the morning to you, Val. Welcome in, man. It's good to see you. I still love the world of Dark Souls 1. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Bloodborne indeed, Val! All of the Bloodborne. The Blood Level 4 born. Alright, so we're gonna go right back there, do that again, and then we should have enough. Actually, no, we need 12k souls. Jesus, that's so many souls, chat! That's, that's so many souls! <laughs> You gave me the armor to get blood. It's the old blood that curses all the illness and sign of a contract that ropes you into becoming a hunter to help with the hunt. Yes, and not only that, but also you are actually in a nightmare the entire time, or a dream the entire time, and you can get out of it. When you sign, I believe when you sign the contract, it puts you in the dream. Uh, I do want, I don't, I no, do I want to be spoiled in case it gets ported to PC in like 10 years? That is a good question. Bloodborne is just more fluid, in my opinion, and the bosses in Dark Souls 3 kind of suck in comparison. Really? You think so? I think that the bosses in Dark Souls 3 are harder, and, um... more variable than the bosses in, in the base game of this. Um, however, I think that... that's only because these guys have shortcuts. Uh, whereas there aren't... a lot of the bosses there aren't shortcuts in, in, in the... in Dark Souls 3. And this is coming from someone who is not that great at battling any of them. Uh, but in my experience and from what, I, from what I've heard from people. Yeah, that as well. The old blood as well. It was inspired by Dark Souls 3s, and they just refined the system. Yeah, that's true, but also... Wait, no, 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 wait a second. Didn't Bloodborne come out before Dark Souls 3? I'm pretty sure. So maybe switch those. Oh, the, yes, I agree. The aggression is very nice in this game, and I actually would like it in the other games, but I also kind of have a special place in my heart for the way that there's like a more slow, methodical approach to the bosses in Dark Souls 3, in the Dark Souls games in general than there is in this game. I think there's just different combat systems, and I like both of them about the same, but I definitely could see how one person would prefer one over the other. Actually, I know that almost everybody prefers one over the other. Jesus Christ. Imagine never dying once in Bloodborne. I can't. I've seen people do it. Multiple times. I've seen Joe DD do it. Multiple times. <laughs> if I practice a lot, I could probably do it as well. Probably not Blood Level 4, which I've seen people do a Blood Level 4 as well, which is crazy. Insanely cool, actually. K, K Witty beat the game in, like, what? An hour and 40 minutes of Blood Level 4? All... I think pro probably only one or none, no deaths. I just have a soft spot for this one. Absolutely! And there's the, that's the other thing. Uh, blow that glass. It's... A lot of these games are nostalgia related, and I started with Dark Souls 1, so I'm a bit nostalgic for that game as well. And you started with Bloodborne, right? So, yeah. I will say that I think that the idea, uh, environmentally of this game, like the whole Victorian area, I am very fond of. Like, vampire sort of, uh, dark, morbid, blood-centric, uh, area. I'm very fond of as an idea for games as a whole, just in general. And so... I like it a lot, probably the best out of all of the games, uh, environmentally, that is. Not having to worry about min-max equipment load is great, that's true. That actually is very true. But also as a trade-off, don't, doesn't the armor basically do nothing in this game? Uh, and I, I, I may be wrong about that, but like, isn't it much less, uh, influential than the Souls games? You can have the same number of weapon choices as Dark Souls 2. Oh my god, no. Not even close. That's another major difference in the game, actually. That's actually two major differences like right off the bat. One, you actually have to farm your healing items. You don't get them when you respawn. Uh, and then two, like in Dark Souls 2, uh, you, there's like hundreds of weapons. This game has like, I don't know, like with the DLCs included, maybe 30 or 40, something like that. We're like eight weeks? Yeah, it's crazy good. And it's, again, I think maybe the partial, uh, in my opinion, the best lore of all of them. It just seems the most cohesive lore-wise. Though, also Dark Souls 1 is as well. Uh, you're hilarious, yeah. Well, Seen Kings, I think, has only played Dark Souls 2, so that's a pretty understand understandable uh, question, I, I think. I, I actually didn't know that until I played the game for the first time either, but yeah. Uh, Dark Souls 2 has like hundreds. Actually, I think maybe the most of all of the games. Uh, and then this game has like 30. 
Uh, but, Scene King, if you look, see, look at my weapon, all, every weapon is like much more interestingly designed. They all have secondary, tra they have transformations, and you can do those transformations mid-combat, just like this, and they have different attack patterns and stuff like that. Yeah, oh no, exactly. Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, just asking completely understandable. Like I said, that's a pretty reasonable question for someone that's never even seen Blood Bowl before. It does have the most. So that's what I thought. Yeah, so the, so the weapons are more intricate, and the combat style is more fast-paced, but there's not nearly as many. 26 melee weapons in Bloodborne. Is that including the... Um, God, I, don't know, I wish we could farm more here, but this seems like the fastest way. Is that including the uh, DLC weapons or just the base game? I had no idea what was happening in Dark Souls 3. To be fair, I didn't get into that either at the first. Yeah, and again, have you played Dark Souls 1 or just Dark Souls 3? Because Dark Souls 1 relates very closely to what happens in Dark Souls 3. And if you don't know the lore from the first, it's hard to understand the lore from the third. Ah, there you go. I definitely would recommend... Also, if you go to Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 1 has a much more cohesive lore than Dark Souls 3, I think. Like, it's easier to understand, kind of similar to Bloodborne. Not that any of them are easy to understand, but it's just a, a, a bit easier. Uh, so I definitely recommend playing that if you would like another Souls experience, especially remastered. I've had a great time. That's all main hit weapons, 16 offhand. Gotcha, interesting. Very nice, enjoy. Yeah, we just finished our SL1 run of that game, uh, which is the same as Blood Level 4, but just... SL1 and and a all bosses playthrough as well. I think SL1 was all bosses on top of that. That place works more for me. I was a big fan of fantasy RPGs before I played Dark Souls. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I could completely see that, Neville Raider. Completely see that. Yeah, isn't that cool? I didn't know that either, classified. 42 weapons total seems meaningful. Yeah, absolutely. General gist is humans found tunnels. Tunnels lead to ancient civilization. Ancient civilization buries the great ones. The great ones had old blood. The church takes old blood, makes money healing people and gain power. They lock up the great ones. It backfires. That and not only with the great ones, but then they start consuming the blood, and the blood transforms them all, them all into beasts inside of the dream. Right? Isn't that how it works? Or are they also beasts outside of the dream? I'm gonna die, chat. I'm not gonna die, we're fine. What a great summary tastes like purple, I like that. Oh, get away from me. <laughs> oh, that angle. That angle, oops. And it was a dream, so, so none of it mattered yet. But they are also dying, and don't, like, once they get outside of the dream, there's something with them still being beasts or something. So don't have to worry about spoilers anymore. That's true. Yeah, Val, I'm sorry to hear. Well, actually, that's not true. There, there are a lot of big spoilers that is, there, it's related to that lore, but, like, in-game spoilers that I have not said. Uh, so that's not true. They actually do have. I know, right? The freaking doggos. The damn doggos. What do, you, what do you think, chat? Which Souls game, Soulsborne game, has the worst doggos? I think Bloodborne has the most aggressive and annoying doggos. That's true. They don't teleport or breathe fire like the ones in Dark Souls 1 do. I heard you were discussing plot inside of Sir. Okay, perfect. Good. I never want to spoil something, especially since, like, I didn't play this game for the first time until, like, three months ago, and I loved playing through the game blind. It was fantastic. I'm really glad I got to, so... I definitely would hold nothing against you if you didn't watch, if it if you would like to wait for a port or getting a PS4. Hey guys, Legion here. Just reminding you to drink water so you don't get dehydrated. Thank you. Legion, I appreciate that. Hey, what's up, JG1931? Welcome in. Does JG stand for jungle, perhaps? Alright, there's some water! Beautiful. Thank you for reminding me, Legion. I like Blades of Mercy, but everyone shits on them. Yeah, well... I think that I like their attack pattern quite a lot. I agree with you, actually, Blow. Uh, but I don't know if I like them as, like, a really good weapon. I think the reason people shit on them is because they're so close range uh, that even though they have a really cool attack pattern, it can be hard to use them sometimes. The faucets only dispense vodka and nothing but. That's awesome. It's really awesome. Can you mix said vodka, or once it's dispensed, it must immediately go into your system? How does this work? The dog goes, the teleporting hits you with fall damage. 
Uh, hints why I will never try to no-hit it. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's fair, I think. Uh, Dark Souls 3 is probably the, the one I've spent the least time in. Uh, I did an all-bosses playthrough of it. I don't know. In January, something like that, and then dropped it and haven't played it since. And might actually, if I have time at some point, go back and play it SL1. I mean, it could be quite fun. I don't know if I'm totally into, like, deathless and no-hitting things. It just seems like I would have to grind multiple runs a lot more to do something like that. And I don't know if I totally want to do something like that. I respect it as, as a... As an achievement, it's freaking amazing. I just don't know if that's something that I would be super interested in dedicating my time to, but I do indeed enjoy SL1 or low level playthroughs of these games. Uh, it's grindy enough for me, I'd say. But as you can get in and out of, of uh, out with, I love how fast you can get in and out with boom. Bomb? What do you mean by that, Blow? I'm, I'm confused by what you're saying. No, it does not! Okay, very nice. Just curious. Just curious. <laughs> oh, Blades of Mercy! Yes, okay, thank you. Sorry. I totally lost track of where we were talking what we were talking about. Yes, I agree with that. I, I definitely do. I enjoyed I didn't use them a whole lot, but I used them a decent uh, a, a little bit. I upgraded them to full in my first playthrough and used them a little bit in NG Plus, which I actually haven't beaten in G Plus. Uh, but I definitely agree with that. You can just poke in, poke out, and there's some like really entertaining and fun to use, uh like dashes that go along with it. Deacons are the most polarizing fight. I can see that. Interestingly enough, my first playthrough of Dark Souls 3 was a pyromancy playthrough. So I did not have much trouble with Deacons at all, because they just cast giant chaos flaming ball, whatever it's called, into <laughs> into the arena and just murdered all of them. My number two is the scythe. The forward R1 is sexy, so in the transform R1 is the short version. Yeah, I can see that. I think I did most of my- oh my- oh, you're dead, what are you doing? I did my first playthrough of this game with, uh, did I already, wait, what? Where did the dead body go? With a, the cane whip. So I think that is just my favorite game. I'm not, this is my favorite game, my favorite weapon in the game. I do quite enjoy it. Um, and then I think I did my, uh, well, I did NG Plus with a bow blade from as far as I am into it. I'm not really that far into it. I think so far I've enjoyed that one as well. But I've never used most of the strength weapons because I didn't do a strength build, and I probably never will. I hate the whip. Yeah, it's definitely, I think, a polarizing weapon. Kind of like the Deacons are a polarizing uh, fight. Definitely different strokes, absolutely. You have to level up skill and scales ridiculously well. It has great AoE, but it can be quite challenging in certain situations to use. Uh, if you're not careful with it, but I quite like it. Also, the fact that it doesn't have a charged R2 on both transformations is a bit lame. But not that bad. Absolutely different strokes. Again, I prefer, in the first playthroughs of games I do like this, to go, like, super squishy, high damage, dex, or skill. Uh, and I know a lot of people who like to go straight tank, huge amounts of strength, just shit on things with giant weapons, and I totally respect that as well. I totally respect that. It's just not my thing as much. All right, let's go to Central Yarnum, farm some more blood vials. It's the only fight I was like, oh shit, the entire fight. Deacons? I can see that. I can definitely see that. I, um, I don't know. I, 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 I kind of, the, the Deacons were kind of mad to me, just because they weren't super challenging because I just murdered them with a giant fireball, and then they were kind of cool. They were interesting, uh, but not crazy. No, the Witch Dark Souls 3 had armor that was mechanically more interesting. What would you want mechanically more interesting? Uh, like, what do you mean by that, out of curiosity? Classified. And what would be an example for you of a game that does have mechanically interesting uh, armor? I assume one of the other Soulsborns, but I really don't know. Oh god. This was the first uh, one where they kept getting upright. It was the first one they kept getting up right. I could see that. Like, you mean, uh, the one that actually made you feel like you were... had tension related to the fight, or were... was it actually challenging? What do you mean by that? Low damage builds are just annoying because it's a race of, for curse. Yeah, I could see that. 
I can see that. I, I don't like. I don't really love low damage builds unless I'm doing low level runs. Like the the knights kept getting up. Gotcha. I see. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. Armor of Thorns is interesting because it just is not just stats. Okay, so you mean like like specific effect armor? I can see that. Oh. I did not expect to get that this way. I like it. I will take it, chat. All right. Sometimes the range on the brick is kind of crazy. I think I like the Abyss Watcher's glass. I think that is an Abyss Watcher's. Oh, I assumed he was just calling the Deacons Knights, but I think I know what you mean. Yeah, I, th I think you. I think you're actually right. I did heavy battle axe in Dark Souls 3. They, my first playthrough, I just finished Dream Knights. Felt too easy. Yeah, I think that that is a problem with Dark Souls in general. As the, uh, is that the strength and shield based builds like so poise, shield, big giant shields, and, and strength is slightly OP, which is part of why I don't do it. But it's also fun to do. But yeah, it can be a bit too easy. Things are the cathedral. It's a bunch of priests and the bonds. Here at months, I was thinking of this. Okay, yeah, well, the, the Abyss Watchers are also a great fight. Oh, I don't know if there's many people that don't like the Abyss Watchers. Abyss Watchers are modeled very closely after a fight uh, in Dark Souls 1 DLC. And I, I just noticed this for the first time recently. Um, oops, that's not what we want. So how is that put us at? The Artorias fight, which is amazing. Really playing Roblox? I know you do, Legion. I know you do. So we have four. Honestly, I want more. I just want more, chat. So let's, uh, let's see how many this gives us. Oh, we, we shouldn't be able to get two. Ah, uh, no, we're not. God damn it. Yeah, okay, let's go do one more farming run. That was the best in the entire... I went to the wrong place, by the way. In the entire set, in the entire series. Butterfly set. I don't know if I know what that is. I played Dark Souls 1 with the dex build, same. 2 as a caster, nice. 3 as a caster, dex hybrid. Yeah, I like to go caster as in pyromancer, dex hybrid. I love that that combination. It's quite fun. What do Bloodborne build on my second run through Dark Souls 3? Oh, that would be cool. How would you do that, Blow? Like, what would that uh, manifest as? It's why you get Artorias sword and armor from Abyss Watchers. Absolutely, exactly right. But like the patterns are very similar. I really, I really like that. I think it is cool that they modeled that fight in a way that is nostalgic to the Artorias fight. Because it's probably, I would say far and away my favorite fight in Dark Souls 1. Exactly. That is exactly right, Munz. That is exactly right. No shield, two short blades. Very cool. That's actually kind of how I like to play. Uh, like, I when we did our first Dark Souls 1, uh, sorry, DSR All Bosses playthrough, I did a katana in one hand and then a pairing um, dagger in the other. It was so much fun. Highly recommend that build if you would like to. Ray says, Saucy Triangle fam. It was really great hanging out, everyone. Thank you very much. It was great having you here, Ray, dude. Enjoy your night. I'm not going to be around for a little while. I'm sorry to hear that, so stay excellent. And lots of love to you as well, man. Good vibes your way. And I'm sorry to hear you're not going to be around. That's A-OK. -okay. Enjoy your time away. And uh, best of luck to you with whatever you're going to be doing, my man. Have a great one. Have a great one, my man. I'll see you around, dude. I'm getting used to pairing in this game again as well, which is nice. Uh, I kind of wish we almost beat the Blood Starved Beast. I was going to watch Trongo when I start eating. Understandable. I forget I'm... Actually, I don't forget anything. Never mind, take it back. Oh, I forget lots of stuff. Actually, let me, let me repeat that. So this guy will bring us to his, his realm. I believe. Or maybe we have to wait until he's Santa Claus before he'll do that? I'm really not sure. The first time through this was with, um, being my first from game. It took me like five hours to get past Cathedral of Ramen. I could totally see that. I could totally see that. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I had a I had a lot of trouble with Bloodstar Beast when I first played this because I just didn't know. 
uh, how to beat him aside from I didn't I didn't know there was a shortcut with it with the with the blood vial. So I just assumed we had to parry him and beat him, and I kept, I died for so long, my first playthrough of this, to the poison. Every time he started his poison phase, I would just die to the poison. It was awful. This one was Brigand Twin Dagger's main hand and Notch Whip off it. Oh! Oh, Muns! That sounds awful. That sounds terrible. I still haven't passed the first area. Well, Legion, gotta get on that, man. Wait a second. What the shit was that? He just, he just randomly decided he didn't want to freaking take damage. Oh, so strange. Mortal games like this, I only excel at shooters. Hell yeah, dude, everyone excels at something. I am mediocre, or a little, maybe a little over mediocre at games like this, but I, it's mostly once I start practicing a lot that I get decent at them. Uh, and I haven't played this game in quite some time, so it's... Definitely, um, we don't need to go back down there. Let's just go back up. I'm okay at it. I'm, I'm, I'm okay at this game right now. It's part of the reason I wanted to do a Blood Level 4 as well, so that I could get back into the vibe of Bloodborne. Enjoy it. Egan, I'll see you later, my man. Enjoy work, dude. And I hope it goes by fast for you. Have a great day. A great morning. Hope you're not working too long of a shift either, man. See you later, dude. The Found Watchdog made me quit this my first time playing. Very nice. I quit for three months. Holy shit, dude. That's crazy. That is awesome, though. I like it. I respect that you eventually came back to it as well. Let's get one more of these things. Um, there were also those gloves that boosted bleed buildup dealt. Interesting. Interesting indeed. All the hype indeed, mud. All the hype indeed. <laughs> this gloves. In which game classified? What, what are we on right now? The legs that made you... Oh, you're talking about uh, armor that is... Um, Dark Souls 2, and armor that's more manipulatable, manipulatable to the character. Or the, the legs, the armor that made you take reduced fall damage, which I use the whole time. I get destroyed by 11 year olds. <laughs> I can see that. Hey, D. Fraley, welcome in, my man. And thank you very much for that host, dude. How was the stream? What are you playing, my man? All right, let's purchase some items. One of these. Let's go get wrecked in the face again by the Blood Star Beat. Seems like a delightful plan. Let's go. Oh! Turtle, turtle armor made you immune to backstabs? Really? I didn't know that classified. I've never PvP'd, like, m almost at all. Good, I was playing Destiny and testing some of the exotic armor changes. Very nice! That's awesome! How were the exotic changes, my friend? And guys, if you would like, Dee Fraley is a friend of the channel and a fantastic caster. You should go toss him a follow if you like Destiny-related content, or really anything. I think he's going to be picking up Gungeon here pretty soon as well. I PvP'd for like a hundred hours in this game. Yeah, I, I, and I think I'm, I think PvP, honestly, is another quite polarizing thing about the Soulsborne. I feel like people either just hate it or like it a lot. I don't, I don't know if there's much in between. I haven't talked to a lot of people who just kind of like, eh, yeah, I do it sometimes. But I'm sure there are a fairly large group that actually does that. I don't like uh, PvP and Souls games. I've never been able to get into it. I would have to pre part of it is because I would like to get skilled if I did do it. Um... And I don't have the time or or the commitment to actually put that amount of time in. Everyone's have all time. That's right, exactly right, Val. They have all the time in the world to practice, refine that craft. <laughs> oh, PV system sucks, but it's fun. Yeah, I can see that. Again, I just don't like it. I don't. I don't know. I can't really make a judgment on because I've never played it before. But it is just not something that's up my alley. Uh, the warlock armor changes are pretty interesting. Very nice. Gungeon on Friday, hell yeah, dude. Me as well. I'm actually, I'm really excited to pick up the game again. Uh, I've never beaten the game fully, but I like playing it a lot, and I'm really excited for the changes. They look really interesting. Hey, my thing either I prefer jolly cooperations. Absolutely, <laughs> I like it. The jolly co cooperations with the evil guy who hates the vile blood, specifically. Apparently, has ever helped others in these games? Yeah, there are tons of people in chat who I can guarantee help others in these games. I don't, uh, but that's only because I stream them and I don't like doing, I mean, I, I'm sure I would like doing co-op, but I revel in the challenge more if I do it solo. Uh, and it's easier me for, to, for me to control the stream, uh, this stream, that sort of deal. Yes, indeed, Bloodborne indeed, Requiem. It's gonna stretch for a bit before I go to sleep, so I'm leaving the lurk. My dude, thank you for the lurk. Requiem, I appreciate that. Enjoy your night, enjoy your stretching, man. Good vibes your way. 
I do all the time in Hunter's Bell on Reddit. Yeah, absolutely. I know there's a huge community for it. Uh, and it's something I think is awesome. I think, co I think honestly, given the right situation, probably outside of streaming, I, I would probably really enjoy... Um, let's go ahead and switch these up real quick. 